All right, welcome to another exciting episode of James Reads from Star Wars Novels. Uh, Jawa James here. This time I'm going to be reading from Cross Current by Paul Kemp. It came out uh, a couple of years ago. Um, let's check the date on it since we're checking dates these days. Uh, doo -doo -doo. 2010. Um, Cross Current uh, features a Jedi Knight named Jaden Kor, who's the main character, um, and he has to... Uh, what does he do? He finds a ship that is full of a bunch of Sith and one Jedi, and it's from the past. Somehow it got ca caught in a little temporal loop in hyperspace. Let's figure out what's going on with Jaden. The screams from outside Jaden's window turned to laughter as an open-top speeder streaked past. He heard music booming from the speeder's speakers. The sounds faded as it flew away. It took a moment for him to understand what had occurred. Adolescence, he realized, probably on a late night thrill ride. Stang, he whispered, but he did not deactivate his lightsaber. Its hum filled the room, a comforting sound. The images from the vision remained sharp in his mind. The whir of R6's servos announced the droid's entrance into the room. Seeing Jaden standing in his night clothes with his lightsaber burning, R6 cut short his beeped greeting to a whistle, a concerned question. Jaden did not fully understand droid speak. But he usually got the gist of R6's communications, or perhaps he assumed R6 said or asked whatever Jaden wished him to say or ask. I guess that makes you my confessor, he said to the astromech. Congratulations. R6 beeped the question again, and Jaden smiled. Nothing. A bad joke. And I am fine. I had an unusual dream. But Jaden knew it had not been a dream. It had been a force vision. R6 hummed understanding and whistled out the first stanza of a lullaby. Jaden smiled at the droid, though his mind was still on the vision. He had never had one so vivid. What had it meant? Dead Jedi and Sith resurrected, an icy moon in the unknown regions, a reign of evil, and the repeated cry for help. He could not make sense of what he had seen, so he tried to recall what he had felt. The uncomfortably familiar touch of the dark side his increasingly attenuated connection to the light side, and, bridging the two, his master's words, the force is a tool, neither light nor dark. How can that be? A tool? Nothing more than that. R6 beeped confusion. Jaden waved a hand distractedly. It cannot be, he said, answering his own question. The force had been Jaden's moral compass for decades. Reducing it to a tool, mere potential, left him rudderless. He looked at his hand, the hand from which he had discharged force lightning. There be dragons, he muttered, deactivating his lightsaber. R6 word a question. I'm trying to discern the vision's meaning, but I am uncertain. He had been uncertain since the Battle of Centerpoint Station, though he had been struggling with doubt before that. His certainty had been one of the unrecorded casualties of the battle. He had done things he regretted. The Corellians had simply wanted their independence. In hindsight, Jaden saw the whole affair as a political matter unworthy of Jedi involvement. He had killed over politics. The Jedi Order had killed over politics. Where did that leave them as an order? How were they different from the Sith? Hadn't they used the light side to engage in morally questionable acts? And where did that leave Jaden? He felt soiled by his participation in the battle. Once we were guardians of the galaxy, he said to R6, and the droid stayed wisely silent. Now the Jedi seemed guardians of particular politicians. What principles did they stand for anymore? The Force is only a tool. He shook his head as he pulled on his robes. The Force had to be more than that, otherwise he had lived a lie for decades. His lightsaber was a tool. The Force was something more. It had to be. He feared the Jedi had to come to think that, because they used the light side of the Force, everything they did must therefore be good. Jaden saw that thinking is flawed, even dangerous. Since the battle for Centerpoint, he had isolated himself from the Order, from Valen, from Kyle. He felt purposeless and unwelcome. He thought his doubt must be plain to them all. He knew he had, would be transparent to the Masters. He had no one with whom he could share his thoughts. No one but you, he said to R6. All right, there is Jaden Kaur alone trying to figure out what this vision means. That was a bit from Paul S. Kemp's book, Cross Current. 
uh, check it out, and we will see you next time. May the force be with you.